Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Details of missing British teenager Jay Slater's trek across the mountains in Tenerife to get back to his hotel have been revealed as questions grow over what has happened to him. Jay, 19, was last heard from on Monday morning when he told friends he planned to walk back to his accommodation after missing a bus, a journey which would take more than 10 hours on foot. A new map has revealed the apprentice bricklayer's most recent known movements, with his phone showing his last location as the mountainous rural Tenno Park which is a remote area in the northwest of Tenerife. Jay had been attending a three-day NRG festival which ended on Sunday, June 16 in Papageo Beach Club in South Tenerife. A friend of the teenager who had gone to the festival with him said Jay had gone to stay with people he met after a night out. The friend, Lucy May, received a phone call from Jay at around 8 a.m. on Monday morning saying he'd missed his bus and was trying to walk back but was lost, needed a drink and only had 1% battery on his phone. The phone call then cut off. The teenager's phone died at around 8.50 a.m., with his last known location registered in the remote rural de Tenno Park, more than 10 miles from the popular resort Guia de Sora. Jay was reported missing at around 9 a.m. the same morning, and police launched a mountain rescue. His worried family have flown out to the Canary Island to lead a desperate search for their young relative. Jay's mother Debbie Duncan has revealed her fears her son was taken against his will as the search for him continues. Mountain rescue crews and sniffer dogs had been searching the mountainous area of northwest Tenerife for the 19-year-old up until this afternoon. But suddenly police focus shifted to the tourist hotspots of Los Cristianos and Playa de las Americas in South Tenerife, after a false sighting of him getting out of a taxi. It later emerged the report was false and police, having wasted precious time in the blistering 27C heat, were forced to move attention back to their original site. Jay's last sighting was on Sunday night at the NRG Music Festival. The teenager is believed to have got into a car with two men in the early hours of Monday and ended up at their accommodation in a national park about 40 minutes drive away. His distraught mother Debbie said, It's just traumatic and it doesn't feel real. It's just awful. It's horrendous. I think he's been taken against his will with what's been said, but it's in the hands of the police. He's just a great person who everyone wanted to be with. He's good-looking, he's a popular boy. Earlier, a spokesman for the Civil Guard confirmed the search operation has moved to the south of the island in Los Cristianos and Playa de las Americas. While a spokesman did not offer any more detail, it was added, it's obviously down to information that's been received as the investigation has progressed. As things stand at the moment, the search in the mountainous area near Masca in the north has been halted. But it was later ruled out as a false sighting by a well-meaning member of the public. Jay's mother Ms. Duncan told Mail Online, it was a false alarm, but with good intention. Someone thought they had seen him get into a car with two other guys, but it was wrong. The search is still focusing on the north, where he was last seen. We still don't have any updates and need people to keep looking.